This is 4.57 billion years ago, Earth's most terrifying infancy, the Hardian Eon. At this moment, the moon was just born in a cataclysmic collision. And our home was staging a symphony of inferno, lasting hundreds of millions of years. The young Earth was a turbulent, hellish place. Its interior was completely molten. Its surface was relentlessly bombarded by high-speed impactors, generating even more heat. With a hot dry crust, constantly shattered by volcanic eruptions, it was scorching and barren. Geologists named the first 500 million years of Earth's birth, from 4.57 billion years ago to 4 billion years ago, calling it the Hadean Eon. The early solar system was far from the stable order we see today. Countless asteroids, 1 to 10 kilometers in diameter, comets, and other bodies roamed freely in the vastness of space, like ticking time bombs, relentlessly crashing into the young Earth. Studies suggest that, during that period, on average, every 100 years, a collision powerful enough to destroy an entire continent would occur. Each collision carried immense kinetic energy, converted into extreme heat, triggering violent earthquakes, shock waves, and dust clouds, making Earth's surface environment even harsher and more unstable. In this high temperature environment, the Earth's surface was covered in searing magma, like a boiling sea of fire. In this extreme and hostile environment, a comet made of ice was hurtling toward Earth at 64,000 km per hour. The comet's arrival was like pouring a bucket of water into raging flames, making the inferno seem even more chaotic. The impact generated immense heat, vaporizing the massive ice instantly. Vast amounts of water vapor shot into the sky, creating a spectacular yet terrifying scene. From this moment, a rain lasting millions of years was about to begin. As this water vapor rose to the upper atmosphere, it cooled and condensed into raindrops upon meeting cold air, falling to the surface. However, these raindrops were completely different from the rain we know today. They were acidic and highly corrosive. During their descent, the rain reacted with dust from asteroid impacts, clouds, and toxic substances from volcanic eruptions, forming reactions, thus creating acid rain. Due to the extreme surface temperatures, this acid rain would quickly evaporate upon falling, returning to the atmosphere in an endless cycle, forming a continuous water cycle. To stop this rain, the Earth had to cool down. Geologists estimate this rain lasted at least several million years, perhaps even 10 million years, to bring the surface temperature to a stable level. A stable level. Around 4 billion years ago, the surface temperature gradually stabilized. Water no longer evaporated rapidly but began to pool together. This pooling water accumulated in low-lying areas, forming the primitive ocean. The emergence of oceans mark the Earth about to leave this terrifying and chaotic hidden eon, entering a new era, the Archean Eon.